Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. This week we're gonna drive Becky and Jewel again, but we're gonna make an adjustment to the fork cart. If you remember last week, Becky always seemed to be one step ahead of Jewel. Didn't matter what I did. <clears throat> this is the harness here. And here's her tug that's actually connected to the cart. If I had Jewel long, I had Becky short. If I had, um, if I had Becky long, I had Jewel short. And I had them both in the middle at the same time. It didn't matter. Becky was always one step ahead of Jewel. In one part of last week's video, you can see the evener down here is extremely sideways, like this. Now, the tugs are connected to the single tree here. And that's what I was showing you, that if the chains are connected long or short, it didn't matter. Becky still pulled the evener way far forward. Now, whether Becky is younger, she's faster, she's more in shape, whatever the case is, she was always forward. So what was happening is, is Becky was pushing the yoke forward as far as it would go. And then it was pushing the yoke into Jewel's neck and keeping Jewel back. And Jewel was not stepping forward to push the yoke back even. I did not have a jockey whip to whip Jewel on the butt to get her to step up. I just kept telling her to step up and whenever I did, she would start running or trotting. But, so that's what was happening. As long as this neck yoke was in Jewel's neck or in her chest, she stayed back. And it was very evident in the video because Becky was always, Becky was always forward. So what I have done is I have added these stay chains, if you will. And my buddy in South Dakota, Jared, told me about this. This is not my idea, so I can't take credit for it. But they're stay chains, if you will. So it allows the evener to completely work as it should in a natural position. Jared was telling me that he had a set of curly mares that would always walk forward, or one would always walk forward like Becky is doing. And so he installed these stay chains. So again, the stay chains are, they've got plenty of slack in them and it allows the evener to work just as it, it would naturally. But they're completely adjustable by opening up this turn lock here. I'll adjust the other one the exact same way. But now what happens when Becky starts pulling, the stay chain tightens up and it keeps the evener straight. So a couple of things are gonna happen by doing this right here. One, it keeps the evener straight. Becky is going to end up pulling the majority of the load because she is the faster horse. Becky's eventually gonna get tired of pulling the load and she's going to slow down and it's going to cause Jewel to walk faster. When Becky is pulling this load and it is tight, she's gonna be walking at her pace. Jewel is not going to have a choice but to keep up with Becky. All right, now if you'll notice down here, the stay chain is tight. Becky's stay chain is relatively loose, but if you'll look at Becky's tugs, 
they're tight. And if you look at Jules' tugs, they're loose. So Becky is pulling the load. And if this load was heavy enough, eventually she would get tired and slow down. But this is a light load, so she's probably gonna continue to stay up there. But Jewel is still lagging a little bit behind. So we need to adjust Becky's stay chain one more length to make it tighter, to make the evener more even, and that will tighten up Jewel's tugs. All right, so we adjusted Becky's stay chain one more length and that tightened her up a little bit. And then we tightened up Jewel's tug and made her tugs a little bit tighter so she's actually pulling part of the load. She's a little close to the evener, but she's doing pretty good. It's a lot more even. She's still just a little bit back. Becky's still leaning a little bit forward. You can see Becky's tugs are super tight. And the yoke is just a little far forward on Becky's side. But a lot better than what it was last week. Notice the tugs now, again, they're still tight. We're almost on the end of the run and they're still tight. She's learning to keep herself up there. Guys, that went a lot better than last week. I think by doing that stay chain and then um, shortening up uh, Jules' tugs, we're, we'll get it fine-tuned right in there, but we're definitely on the right track. That pole has got one more length, so I'm gonna lengthen the pole just a little bit more so that I can get Jewel away from her evener a little bit more. And, uh, I think one more drive and we'll have it dialed in pretty well. So 
real glad I put those uh, stay chains on there and girls did great today so no issues at all hooked up a lot easier unhooked a lot easier everything was just a lot smoother today so appreciate you watching and as always remember who you are be kind to those around you stand up for what you believe in